Receiving an inheritance and drafting your own will are two of the most significant financial planning milestones the average Canadian makes, in many cases leaving families with more questions than answers. After benefiting from a recent inheritance, Val and Andy wanted to learn how to protect this additional asset and set up trust accounts for their children. With one son away at university and their daughter Kate finishing high school, Andy and Val Shaw are taking time back, which includes traveling more, spending time with friends, and perfecting their tennis game. When Val and Andy recently received an unexpected inheritance, they weren't sure what to do next, so they contacted their financial advisor. We got back into tennis about five years ago or so. We were playing a lot of golf, and we have a lot of friends who have just taken up golf, but we decided we wanted to try something new, and tennis has just been fantastic for us. Tennis is much easier to play in the evenings. The courts are lit, we can play in the winter. It's, uh, it's really been a great uh, activity. Like many Canadians, Val and Andy have spent their adult lives working and raising a family, and their hard-earned money deserves to be protected and the best protection is being informed, knowing what the options are. Recently, we had an unexpected inheritance and we contacted a financial advisor to give us a hand with that. My recommendation for a couple that have just received an inheritance would be to firstly look at their own uh, financial situation and look at their outstanding debts or obligations or future expenses that they might have that they've always wanted to deal with but have probably not been in the situation to actually address. The financial advisor was uh, very helpful because he looked at our overall situation. Our mortgage is paid off, but we have to plan for the future and invest it cautiously, and he had a number of ideas to help us. We often find that there's a great degree of reluctance to take on a higher level of risk with the monies because it is theirs and they've, you know, again, it's, it's something new to them. So we look at strategies which incorporate a, a balanced portfolio approach. We would include government bonds where possible, corporate bonds or fixed income where possible, and we would often include GICs or term deposits from one of the many financial institutions in Canada. The nice thing about the GICs is that they do come with the CDIC insurance, so there's that $100,000 worth of, of blanket coverage for each issuer and I think people find that comforting in just getting started with a bigger portfolio. Kate, I'm home. Finding out that some of the options have lower risks, it was quite comforting to know and it helps us sleep at night. One of the things the financial advisor helped us out with uh, is telling us about CDIC and knowing that there is coverage out there for our inheritance. Our son is at uh, university in second year and our daughter uh, is off next year, but uh, this last year I've really enjoyed spending time with her at home. It's been a real treat for both of us to, uh, to hang out together a little bit more. We do a lot of cooking, but she's also an aspiring actress, so we spend a lot of time uh, working with her in terms of taking her to extracurricular classes such as ballet and acting and voice, so it's a very busy time. Let me see. Oh, that's great. We can yeah. use that for sure. Okay. Pull it out. Oh, that's gorgeous. Flowering. Yeah, rainbow. we can use that. Put it in the pile. There's another one of them sailing. I think that's really good. We're often asked about trust accounts for children uh, in the situation where there perhaps is some extra monies to be invested and parents want to look out for their kids. Again, future education needs or their first home or it could be anything really. The kids were also beneficiaries of the inheritance, so their money was put into a family trust and it was comforting for us to know that uh, they were protected by CDIC as individuals under that program. To improve your financial knowledge and find out more about deposit insurance and what types of accounts are eligible, visit cdic.ca.